I chose to want to It's kind of loud. All right. I think we got it. <laughs> okay. Hi, you guys again. Especially um, all you Geo peers out there. You guys are my favorite because you're just so fun to mess with. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just so much Jesus. Okay. In a good way. In a good way. You know, nothing, nothing serious. But um, <laughs> I just had to... Um, <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, no, I just read something. It was just kind of ridiculous. Um, okay, so I just read quick. I want to go over... Okay, there's so many lies that uh, the GOP has said about Obama, President Obama. I'm going to start calling him President Obama because some people just don't understand that he's the president, like Arizona governor. I got a video just for you, honey. But um, anyway, before I go on, um, I just wanted to list some of the, like, the top 25 GOP lies about Obama, the top 25 lies that uh, Republicans have made about Obama. Um, President Obama, I can't he's so personal to us. Um, he's like our, he's like our, you know, family, friend, whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, like, there's so many lies. It's like, I'm sure there's like at least a hundred because like, they've, they've just been plaguing my mind for the past four years. But the, the top 25 most recent ones that I can remember, I'm gonna go ahead and say, and then probably make another video with the next top 25 and then the next 20, top 25. But these are some of the, the, the doozies right here. <clears throat> let me, uh, let me get here. All right, top 25 GOP lies that I can think of at the top of my head without having to uh, think hard about it or whatever, just recent stuff. Okay, lie number one, GOP, lie number one, saying he didn't create, saying President Obama didn't create three million jobs when all the stats say that he did. And all the economic experts say the same thing. They say that, yes, roughly around this many jobs have been created because of Obama's actions. Okay, GOP line number two, saying that, excuse me, saying that more people got on food stamps under President Obama more than any other president. No, President Bush had half a million people, uh, half a million more people on food stamps than Obama ever has. Um, you know, that had half a million more people uh, apply for food stamps and give half a million more people food stamps than Obama ever did. Um... Say, the GOP lie number three, saying that oh, President Obama increased the deficit or debt more than any other president in history. No. By his eighth year, actually, uh, President Obama will have increased um, the deficit or debt, uh, according to the statistics that I read, uh, blah, whatever, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> by $1.7 uh, trillion. But Bush, uh, President Bush, increased the deficit debt by uh, almost almost six trillion dollars, and uh, that's kind of no comparison, if you feel me. Let me get our music back because I like that song. All right. Um. Yeah. So that's number. Those are the top. Those are just three of them. It's not really in any particular order. It's just as I remembered it. Um. GOP lie number four, saying that Obamacare is a socialist plot against the country that will increase the debt or deficit. No. Obamacare is almost identical to the health care plan that GOP Congress floated as an alternative to Hillary Care back when Bill was president, and it reduces the deficit because it makes freeloaders pay into the system. GOP lie number five, sending over 30 mailers to my grandma, my 94-year-old grandma in Florida, all stating that Obama wants to take away your Social Security and Medicare. No. That's what the GOP plans to do if you read their plans. GOP lie number six. Saying that Ob President Obama was born in Kenya or anywhere else out of America. No. Anybody with common sense knows he was born in Hawaii. Anybody else who doesn't know that is racist. Okay. GOP lie number seven. Saying he's an avowed Muslim and not correcting those who say he is an avowed Muslim. <clears throat> Rick Santorum. Um, no, he's actually an avowed Christian. And, you know, although I prefer a Christian president, you know, as long as he's not a fanatic, I mean, if, if the, my president uh, was Muslim and he was a better choice than the other guy, I would still vote for him, you know, even though I prefer him to share my faith. So it's, it's not even about the religion or whatever. It's about fanaticism and associating with all Muslims with fanatics. And granted, you know, we do have some, some terrorist cells in our country that we need to extinguish that are doing honor killings, killing their daughters and stuff like that and all kinds of crap, you know, for being too uh, westernized or whatever. And that needs to be stopped, you know. But, um, 
you know, uh, Muhammad Ali was a Muslim. I mean, is. Oh my God, sorry. He's totally still alive. Um, <laughs> Muhammad Ali is Muslim, and um, I'm sure there's somebody else that I remember that was, that's really cool that's Muslim. I can't remember his name. But anyway, yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't, you know, Muslim doesn't equal bad, even though, like, I prefer Christian. So it's all good. Um, let me see, where was I? Um, saying he, Obama, President Obama, GOP line, I'm sorry, GOP line number eight. Let me keep you, keep you up to date. Saying that the President Obama hasn't compromised with GOP Congress. No, 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 no. Oh, this one is almost one of the most laughable ones at all, of all. President Obama has given the GOP 75% of everything they wanted from him, short of his power on the throne, okay, to try to get them to return the favor, like decent human beings, like adults who actually work and actually try to do their job and service for the people who elected them. Yeah. You guys should try that sometime, GOP Congress. Anyway, um, so he has tried to, um, oh God, I keep running out of music. They really need to make this longer because this is a cool song. Um, anyway, so he has given the GOP 75% of what they wanted from him, short of his own presidential power, which Arizona governor Jan seems to think that she just she just should, should just be given. But to try to get them to return the favor, even pissing off his whole base to do it, and in return they obstructed him all day, every day, 24/7. Not even, wouldn't even, like, agree with Obama on what time it was in the day, okay, for the past three to four years, okay, and then they got the nerve to turn around and say he's uncompromising. That's what you call a lie, okay? There's no, there's no, um, there's no way around that. It's just a lie. It's just a lie, okay? Kind of like when PolitiFact says that, um, what Obama said about businesses creating three million, jo three million jobs is not true, or it's half true, or it's mostly true. No, no, it's all true, politifact.com, and you guys suck for not correcting yourselves. Um, and I don't trust you anymore. Um, so anyway, now let's see after that. Okay, number nine. GOP lie number nine. Okay, saying that President Obama has raised taxes on the middle class. <laughs> no. He has kept his campaign promise, along with most of all of his promises. He's lowered taxes on 95% of all Americans. Okay, that would be the middle class and everybody else who's not freaking crazy rich. It's Romney and Gingrich who plan to raise those taxes, raise all of our taxes, in order to give ridiculous tax breaks to millionaires who didn't ask for them so that they can escape taxation and get kickbacks themselves. GOP line number 10, saying that President Obama has never had a non-government employed job. No, 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 no. He's been a community organizer and attorney, among other things. It's Romney and Gingrich who simply lay back and do nothing but make money off of money and their Rolodex from the government. Alrighty, now it's on to number 11, GOP line number 11. Oh, I should have done this backwards, 25 to 1, whatever. Um, well, we're going to just go up to 25. Saying that President Obama is a radically left, no, a radical lefty. No, he's a moderate centrist. Just like me, just like most of us, just slightly liberal leaning. Um, his record proves it. 12, GOP lie number 12. Saying that President Obama has ba is bad on foreign policy or had little to nothing to do with getting bin Laden. Oh, no, no, no. President Obama was so intricately involved in the death of Osama bin Laden, he made every call up to the point where they took him out, and then he had all Al Qaeda, lead Al Qaeda leaders killed. Killed. Killed! You can't tell me that, man. I don't know what you're doing. All right. GOP lie number 12. Um, <clears throat> saying, oh, I wasn't finished. He was continued. Oh, he has improved our foreign relations, respect worldwide. He convinced NATO and other nations to side with Israel over Pakistan. He helped get rid of Gaddafi. And let's see, he helped get rid of Gaddafi. What else? Uh, I spelled that wrong. Whatever. And he just took out some pirates yesterday who were holding Americans hostages and stuff. And all of them are dead, and the Navy still Team Six are left without a scratch. So, yeah, he's he. He's a G. Anyway, um, number 13 lied. They say that he, the President Obama has lost his popularity. <laughs> you wish, Miss, Miss, y'all politics of envy. You guys really are envious of, of everything about Obama. Everything. Um, no. Everywhere I go, both offline and online, I find mad love for Obama. Mad love for President Barack Obama. We love him. There's a lot of people who don't want to talk about it because they don't feel like getting into debates and fights with you crazies out there who are all, like, irrationally hateful of him. You know why you're irrationally hateful. I don't have to tell you. Mm-hmm. But anyway, yeah, so you guys are bonkers. Anyway, number 14. All right, saying 
that uh, GOP line number 14, saying that President Obama's stimulus plan didn't work when all the economic experts say it did. Um, yeah, lie. Number 15, GOP line number 15, saying that President Obama's bailout didn't work. No, he saved the whole auto industry, and now we're number one. In fact, um, what are the stats? I think he saved, like, um, what is it? Was it uh, 14 million jobs or something? I, don't, I forget. I think it was about 14 million... Was it 14 million jobs and like uh, 97 billion dollars worth of, of incomes that would have been lost had he not done the bailout? So yeah, he knew what he was doing. He fixed all that up. Um, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Uh, 16. GOP line number 16. Saying Obama just spends his time vacationing doing nothing. No, 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 honey. Pothead drunk behind Bush spent two-thirds of his pothead drunk terms in office on vacation while he was starting wars and having tenure in the country. President Obama has really taken vacations, and when he does, it's still after he's worked his behind off for us 24-7 against nonstop opposition by the greedy GOP Congress. Mm-hmm. All right, GOP line number 17, saying that Obama, President Obama has waged a war against religion. No, he's done nothing against religion whatsoever. You guys are insane. Where do you get this stuff? You just, how do you just, how do you sleep at night? Just make, just make stuff up. Just make stuff up. I can't, God, oh, I, I admire Obama for his forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do mentality towards you, because I sure, I sure don't have that kind of patience. Um, anyway, number 18, GOP lie number 18, saying that President Obama is over-regulating. No, actually, President Obama has done less regulating than Bush. He just knows how to consolidate and lead and do things better, because he's what you call a leader. You guys should uh, stop trying to get power and actually learn how to be leaders, stand back and take notes from Obama, learn how to be leaders, and maybe we'll actually take you back, you know, grovel to us on your knees with teddy bears and freaking flowers and candy and be like, please take us back, oh my god, we're so sorry, please, please take us back, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and then we'll think about it. Till then, it's all Obama all the time. Okay, um, let me see. Then there's number 19, JUP line number 19, saying that President Obama has waged class warfare, whatever the hell that is, um, no. He has waged a war on unfairness. There's a difference, okay? You guys should check that out sometime. Yeah, unfairness, you know how to say it? Unfairness. That's, yeah, it's, it's really, it's in the dictionary. Really, I swear, you should check it out. You should totally look. Totally, totally look. Dictionary.com, it'll tell you. All right, it's when things are not fair. Yeah, anyway, um, number 20, GOP line number 20, saying that uh, President Obama's playing the politics of envy. <laughs> no, honey. He's playing the politics of truth while you guys are playing the politics of greed and manipulation. Um, and yeah, we're not as stupid as you think we are. A lot of us are paying more attention than you think we are. All right, line number 21, saying, or GOP line number 21, saying that President Obama has never kept his promises. No, Obama has kept the majority of his promises to us, if you look at his record, and taken action on all of them except for two, according to one of my fact-checking uh, websites. Number 22, GOP line number 22. Saying President Obama has raised taxes and pressure on small businesses. No, he's cut taxes for small businesses. All small businesses. And I don't know what pressure you're talking about. 23. GOP line number 23. Saying that President Obama has made the economy worse. No! All economic experts say that Obama has made the economy better! I don't know, like, how you can not hear the same thing that everybody else is hearing. Like, you know, you heard a different speech when Obama was giving his speech the other day at the State of the Union. What are you guys hearing when everybody else is hearing the truth? You guys are hearing some kind of filtered, just devil spew vomit crap. I don't know what that is, but you guys need to work that out. Find Jesus because you are just totally just wicked and crazy. Okay. All right. Number 24. This is, uh, what is it? Oh, <laughs> GOP line number 24 saying that President Obama singing sucks. No, he actually has a beautiful voice. Beautiful voice. Ah, I'm so in love with you. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Love it. Gotta hear it again. All right, GOP line number 25, and this one's the best one of all. Saying that President Obama is over his head. Oh, no, no, sweetie. You are. Mm. So that's pretty much the top 25 lies. There's so many more, but that's all I have the patience and attention span for. So, um... <laughs> So yeah, you guys, uh, that's pretty much it, and um, GOP, you guys really are the opposite of God and country, and I hope that you uh, find God and country, your loyalty to both, because then and only then will you find your soul, and when you find your soul, it's the only day that we will ever re-elect you guys for the power of the president ever, ever again. 
So, deuces! This is a socially conservative independent, and I approve this message. Ciao, <laughs>